Hello there friends and enemies and welcome back to Unfinished Archetype where we take a look at sets of cards Konami has printed that aren't quite their own archetype yet. By own archetype I mean you can't make a deck fully out of these cards. Today's is a very simple one and one that a lot of you might know especially if you've been into Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time, Time Wizard. Now, I'm not going to consider Thousand Dragon or Dark Sage as part of the Time Wizard archetype, so we're only going to be looking at the two cards that are the main focal point of the archetype. That being said, let's get started with Time Wizard. Once per turn, you can call a coin toss with Time Wizard. If you get it right, you destroy all monsters your opponent controls, and if you get it wrong, you destroy all monsters you control, and then you add up all of their attack points, you take half of their attack in damage total. Time Wizard of Tomorrow is a fusion monster that requires Time Wizard and any effect monster to be fusion summoned, and once a turn, while you have it fusion summoned on the field, you can call it, coin, toss, and toss it. You then, much like the last effect of the last Time Wizard, add up all of their attack, and then you're going to deal half of the damage in attack to your opponent if you call it right, or yourself if you call it wrong. The only caveat is that this time, instead of it being either player's field, you destroy all monsters on the field as possible for tomorrow's effect. So those are the two cards in the deck, and of course, it's a gamble archetype. And I think it's kind of a fun idea for a gamble archetype. It would be fun to see a couple more time wizards be a little more targeted to specific monsters, or maybe ones that could deal with spell and traps. Overall, I don't think that time wizard could be made into a full archetype, but if it was, it would probably deal with mostly spell and traps and not so much monsters. But like I said, having there be monsters that deal with either specific monsters or spell and traps might be good. Or you could give him augmented equip cards where you can change the effect and make it modular, which I think would be very good for Time Wizard. You could flavor it by being all of the equip cards are different types of clocks that he holds that change his effect, or different additions that he adds to the clock to, you know, give him just sort of a modular ability. That being said, those are my thoughts on Time Wizard. How do you feel about Time Wizard? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for my giant messed up upload schedule. Hopefully it won't be messed up anymore. Um, there's been a lot of life stuff going on, but trying to get it back on track. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found something to enjoy about today's video. And until next time, as always, drink your water.